Blessings and welcome forward to Reasons Right to the Share Life here on Share Life Television Network. And today I am on a somewhat of a foraging as well as an explorational hike. Now we do these as a part of our healing hike series at you know Organic Arts Jamaica. So here we are at what they call the thinking to a tree. And that tree right there. You can see, maybe this camera might not get it so well, but that tree produces what we call thinking toe. And see, it's across at my grandma's place, and these are the thinking toes, right? So we call them, yeah, thinking toe. We'll make juice with them and drink with them, and they fall from the tree. And um, yeah, so we're going to begin our hikes here. So normally my clients would i come the other way and do the 360 hike and this is the 180 you know so the 180 hike starts on this side of the mountain which is really the right and this would be midway along the 180 hike and the 180 hike um it finishes up at you know the river or back down at the house or we just sit somewhere along the path and then we kind of recalibrate all the information, the vibration so that we would have learned on earth uncovered during the therapy session. So David Henry Thoreau said, I believe in the 1800s or the early 1900s, that taking a walk, you know, was therapeutic experience. He was like, the father are some of the early thinkers of what the, the modernists call minimalism because he always talked about decluttering and uncluttering the human experiences. So, yeah, those are the goats along the path. Right? Yes, they roam and forage. So, David Henry Thoreau spoke about the depth of taking walks and clearing the mind and so as a teenager I read some of his books those foraging mangoes there I read a couple of his books and um, I was inspired and so a lot of my therapy surrounds using the 432 that we call um, either the Schumann resonance or Fibonacci that sequence of harmonious resonance that comes from 432 megahertz or 7.83 hertz of vibrational frequency within the harmony of man and nature and so when we're in this environment the mind body and spirit tends to slowly drift into a calmity and a calmness of spirit and a lot of changes occurs within the subconscious mind it's beautiful when we align and allow this great experience to become a part of our soul. We can unwind the cluttering, the entanglement of physical experiences, the emotional disharmonization that comes through our social experience and the opinions we gather through our varied social experiments in life. It's an harmonious experience, right? When you can be in a moment like this, in a place like this and allow your auric fields to release all of the identities that you've attached to your station in life your place in life you are part of the environment and the environment encapsulates itself in how you perceive yourself so when you're in the cramped congested metropolis you are crammed in metropolitan man let your cosmopolitan cram out metropolitan woman and declutter in the peace of an environment such as this so we're alongside um the family property and it's just foraging space we always have the fruit trees along the sides of the road right and this is agrarian living and organic arts jamaica and tree of life has always been about that and down there well, you won't be able to see it, but I'm sure the 
microphone to pick up um, the river and shall we continue so I'll each time I'm here rather I'll, I'll tend to wonder in terms of my inner self because there's so much things that stands out that probably would never have stood out the last time I, I have made this journey and I take a lot of the clients along this path and I find that when we're reaching here even if we're coming this way to the 180 Ike are coming back um, from coming this way rather this direction from the 360 Ike there's always a calamity <laughs> that envelops them when we come along this path and these trees here are also what we call the thinking toe trees right along here and you can see the harmony and the symmetry of the environment and naturally the human impact on it is so small the fruit trees grow automatically along the sides of the roads it's like it's an order they weren't planted hallelujah by men or women and this kind of natural symmetry and order is what I try to reintroduce to individuals when they're on this journey to break them out of the complexes of the airbrushed metropolitan crime reality. So we're about to diverge on our destination. So that direction goes to um, the waterfalls that we sometimes show in the videos. But we're going to go up this direction which is where today's expedition will take us and it will take us over the hills to look out into the beautiful valley below and the waterfront Yep, here we go, up this road. Yes, so on the 180 hike now, here's where individuals start to breathe deep, calmly, and we have to establish the connection of trust. Because even when we're coming from the 360 hike, from the other direction, coming down here, it takes a whole lot of trust to navigate this part of the incline. It is very much easy for us who live here but for individuals who have a different sense of balance created by the flat terrain sometimes a little vertical or a little bit of a miscalculation in their psychomatic and physical movements are noticeable but as I was telling uh, <laughs> the princess two nights ago that when individuals of my clientele come here this is where the greatest bond of trust has to be established because we always get down, nobody gets hurt. A few tense moments they might fall, slide I should say, on their bum, but never hurt, never any hurt. It's a connection of trust with the person who is that spiritual guide, that healer, that life coach, my motivational therapy envelops a lot of challenges to the human psyche. Those challenges have been born in the kind of training individuals have had. And that training is their socialization in a lot of fears. So people usually tell you what they can do. And they usually do not tell you. You sorry, they usually tell you what they cannot do. And rarely ever tell you what they can do. So there's always a limiting perspective. But the beauty is when there is a guided tour, hike, healing procedure and process, all in one. These are dragon fruits, by the way. All in one. And some cacti. Some other forms of cacti. It is incredible when one can coordinate many dimensions of 
experience to make clarity one does not know truly what are their limitations so one shouldn't speak clearly about limitations there's a trust that envelops the human spirit when you're willing to go into the natural aura and connect so here we have some dragon fruits on the vine and they're pretty like I say in the juvenile stage but I'm doing my search today as we forage along flow along so back on point with the healing therapy when individuals challenge themselves to bring out a dynamism within their physical and emotional experience it surprises them that they were able to do this because the socialized limitations have kept them in a kind of a, a image of themselves kind of like almost like an avatar of themselves and this avatar is an avatar of limitation it is never the true self that is limitless and just needs experience to garner knowledge and wisdom here are some more dragon fruit it's at a different stage and as the camera is picking them up well but they're off another stage right than those down there so it's a little bit more mature and we got mangoes as i always say along the path off the roadway and we're still going up and up on this 180 180 healing hike first time i had dragon fruit up here it was from there that i discovered them it was over there and i always come and check so and i know it's early in the season and i would return see here in the mountain nature is so you know intertwined with the experience of our individual lives and our collective lives that there's literally sometimes no real separation and such is our perception and that is elephant mountain that's the hiney part and our hike would usually come up the back along the hind parts and down through you know our property there down to the river i've never really taken a group to like camping or hiking up in that direction but my uh bigger brothers and sisters back in the day that was a place where they would go to collect some of the best mangoes because those mangoes don't usually grow um, with the, a lot of human presence so they have a different aura and flavor and through that little valley there a spring would come on every time it would rain and so that is towards um the peak of blue mountain that's the direction you'll go and so overlooking my mountain yeah <laughs> we're continuing on our healing hike trail life television network the great out here with you and so there's a scenic element to it and from 12 years old I took my first group of individuals around here so I've been doing this for a bit you know <laughs> my entire life and as David Henry Thoreau talked about walking and even the essence of minimalizing or decluttering one's life this is the essence of what I promote what healing hikes the trail life is really all about this is essentially what Christ has reinforced in me this way of bringing my individual spiritual emotional experience to be a aid and a guide to others along this journey of life you know it is but a choice to share but what a beautiful choice it is alas to share so this is also family property you know many of the generations would have left and gone but the footprints would have still been here so now the goats forage and rummage through here so that's the front part of the elephant face elephant mountain goes down and you got the trunk going down the ears here as i said already up there you've got the hind parts along the back and that's for the elephant mountain tours and that's towards the city now the thing about the elephant mountain tour that is a bit different is that is that that mountain is a little bit more intense and i always like experienced hikers are people who are really apt to challenge themselves because it's not as easy as this one 
that one is a more expensive hike my eating hikes are 180 us so they're not really a lot of money right and i would say pound for pound buck for buck it's good it's a good price considering the touring costs for a lot of similar nature tours in this part and there are there's another tour company here that operates tours to the river and down there you got where they would do most of their river events and that's, that's where the waterfall is and sometimes I go there it's a nice little walkway they've created down to the river so here we are at our first lookout spot on this healing hike right here reason for the trail life on trail life television network and I don't know how great my camera is on this phone, but as great as it is, that's the city. And you're looking basically at another parish across from the waterfront. We got St. Catherine on that side. We got Portmore. And we got Kingston in the middle there somewhere. The views get better. I'm coming from down there. That's where I'm at. And um, that's the trunk of the elephant going down. This is the ear of the elephant. And we'll go up. Yeah, when I'm gonna go up, sorry, the air of the elephant I was pointing out the trunk wasn't I? That's super careless to go up the air of the elephant along that path and winds up along there, up into the forehead, and we go up, and that's Elephant Mountain Tours. First time I did that was 2016 with a Chinese national. Right? Pick up Wen Sen. So, after an individual really hikes coming from the 360 which is the other direction which is a lot more journey it takes about two and a half three hours and this would take like an hour and maybe 30 minutes when you come to here and you feel so close to a vast amount of space your perception of yourself who you are how you are increases because the environment plays an incredible part in our perception and when we are in a limitless environment we are more apt to tap into the limitless nature of our perceptions of our abilities and so greater outcomes are engendered greater possibilities and as always mango trees along the road greater possibilities are engendered engendered and greater outcomes are designed and so once again we see when the human challenges their limitation there are awesome outcomes as long as you're able and willing to challenge limitations in consistency not haphazardly we, we don't all start at our best part point along this journey because it is real the journey is real life is real but in the process of our decision there comes a cohesion and a coming together of our thoughts and actions and yea holy so we become engrossed in something far larger than we are far greater than ourselves and alas we begin to recognize that our little boxes no matter how big they seem are really chains of limitations that connect us to something that's always getting smaller but that which is vast and amazing is always expanding us and so in this expansive awesomeness of this healing hike people begin to recognize that we are a mountain but a mountain truly within the valleys of mountains and the last there is a mountain yeah even higher up towards what we say the peak the pinnacle of all mountains here in Jamaica we say the foothills towards the peak of blue mountains and so we recognize that no matter where we are in the awesomeness of life there's always more to go there's a higher level, higher standard, higher quality that can be discovered. That with the right temperance and state of mind and preparation can be discovered and experienced. And for a few minutes here on this channel, with the aid of this 
phone camera and my image and voice we can decode some of our limitations we can see within 20 minutes just how deep we can release our fears just how much we can disconnect from clutter and connect to abundant space abundant abundance that we can feel the similitude of something greater that is freely available with just the cost of the human direction and for the resources of maintaining the processes of this store but it doesn't cost really much to be on this tour with your stool the great owl it really doesn't cost much to partake of this awesomeness and all who have I've had great things to say because just hiking a mountain without the character of the personalities of those who live here you miss something from it so you can hike it by yourself that's that's true but when there's a guided tour a connection to the importance of our community for our culture like these trees these pine trees were planted by my mother and several other community members starting in 1968 and as you can see the pine aren't native aren't a native species and wherever their thistles fall it kind of chokes the ground so they don't reproduce at a great rate but they're part of the ecology now and here we are a tree we call the locust tree and it produces nice little fruits that in the fruiting season a lot of the clients love to experience that and the AO view gets better we can now see all the way out to the great blue another parish on that end all the way to St. Catherine Kingston capital city in the middle there we've got the ports the waterfront we've got Port Royal we've got Lime Key and all of those little islands out there but you know my eyes are they say are very clear more clearer than the eyes of the camera are this camera and we got Portmore there uh, another part of St. Catherine and it goes over to Naga's head and then towards St. Catherine so it's a pretty awesome view great memories are created here and if you take your family there yeah, that 180 if it's five a team of five that 180 goes down to 160 so 160 per person for a team of five to come and do this hike and decode some of the fears in the psyche learn a deeper pattern of breathing and thinking and engaging your psychomatic your motor skills in a different way changing the imbalances of the flat surfaced mind to a multiple terrain all terrain mind a mind that is adept and adapt at the deeper functions of understanding life and the experiences and making use of all these grand experiences in value and in reasoning so here we are at the lookout point and um, clients always love this spot because it's the best spot they feel very secure I must say in taking pictures right and see all the way out to beyond we're going towards St. Thomas that's the other parish that's the third parish now we can see it in that direction we got a ship heading out that way wow beautiful beautiful as with all mountaintop communities you know the homes are nestled within the little crags and little cracks in the little hillside all right there we are there we are and so this is the spot 
I'm gonna mellow out a little and um, take some pictures and just clear my mind and my thoughts a little. So towards that side of the mountains, what they call Strawberry Hills, and they also do a little tour that comes through a part of the mountains, but they don't do a serious tour this direction. Like I say, it's many of the people who are from here who are more adept to doing stuff like this. And every so often we have uh, brush fires and kind of reshapes the, the brush landscape, but normally that is green and lush, All right? Just again, a sense of connecting to more than our limitations, to more than our ideas of ourselves, that there's something grander, there's something in the grandeur of our existence that teaches us that we can live a much more quality life God's presence can be better understood, better experienced in our daily activities. And from a moment when we take a breath and we breathe in and we breathe out and we release our fears, we are, in a sense, reborn to the spirit of Christ in our renewal, our thoughts leading our actions and loving God's creation, loving ourselves in that, because that's very important. And then the activities that we take on can then be deeply uh, understood in a deeper sense or in a more meaningful sense. This is always pleasant for me because I have found that I've had to do this many times in my life as an individual to be able to really be at peace with myself and be at peace with existence So until next time, this has been Taloku, the Great Owl, reasonings right here at the Tree of Life on our healing Ike, the 180 degree Ike, where we go up to the peak from the right side of our hiking um, base camp down in Penfield, and the 360 where we go to the left. And when we go to the left, we go all the way around, because Penfield is down there, down there, where the buildings are down there, we go that way. And we cover a lot of ground along around that mountain all the way up and that goes for like i say about two and a half to three hours and then we come through there and come down here and go this direction down 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 right down into the valley back around and back to penfield and so the 180 hike would come this direction now around around up this hill, right? And we come to the lookout spot here and people take pictures, the clients, you know, my guests, the hikers, they would take pictures along this path, going along there. And um, after we cool down and we relax and we chill, then we let it back down. So it's a nice gentle breeze. It's feeling awesome. And that is where I'm gonna leave this video. I welcome you to take up the hike. Like I said, it's 180 um, US and 160 for the group of five. So hit me up and um, yeah, continue to support the Wisdom Mini Healing Therapy Session or buy some merchandise on Seal Media. So until next time.